Hey guys, what is up? So excuse me, I am in pajamas, I am makeup free, and I just blow dried my hair. I'm just about getting ready for bed. It's actually November 11, 2019. It's currently 12 in the morning, so... Your girl is heading to bed. But I just wanted to jump on here really quickly and just explain a little bit of what is going on. As you guys can see from the title, this is going to be my LASIK experience. So freaking exciting, you guys. I'm so excited to be going into 2020 with... 2020 vision what's up what's up i'm gonna have perfect vision ever since i can remember i've had the worst vision ever i think around age eight i started to develop astigmatism and myopia and i still have that till now and since about 12 years old i've been wearing contact lenses so you can pretty much say that i've had the worst of both worlds great no guys i'm just kidding i'm blessed to even have sight the little sight that i have i'm pretty much blessed to have that so i can't complain but of course i want to have perfect vision i don't want to have the struggle of wearing glasses anymore the struggle of having dry eyes or migraines or wearing contact lenses those are just super uncomfortable at times and if you wear them then you know what i mean so i have surgery super early tomorrow well not super early early ish i have to be there at 10 a.m the procedure is usually fairly quick it's about a 15 to 20 minute procedure the longest is the pre-op and then the post-op where they're just gonna have you know explaining stuff to me seeing that everything went well and all that stuff but yeah you guys i am super excited i'm in my pajamas i'm heading to bed right now so exhausted but super excited and i will catch you guys tomorrow morning Mwah. Hey guys, good morning. So as you can see, it is the next morning and it's officially November 12th. My surgery day! This is the first surgical procedure that I have where I can eat and drink water prior to having surgery. So that's what's up. I'm actually on my way to have a quick little breakfast and then heading straight over because I'm gonna have 2020 vision, guys. So yeah, let's just see what this day is gonna be like. Hey guys, what's up? I don't even know if you can see me because I am recording in my GoPro and you can't really tell if you're recording or not on your GoPro. So I'm currently headed to downtown Miami right now, which is where I'm gonna have my eye surgery. Traffic is pretty, uh, you know, Miami traffic, what are you gonna do? It's same old, same old. So I actually just had a little bit of breakfast, so barriga llena corazón contento, you know how that goes. And nothing, let me actually show you my city. Hey guys, so I am officially in the bathroom. I already paid for my surgery and I am free to go inside. I actually came into the bathroom really quickly just to update you guys on everything. It's pretty much official when I give you these wristbands, so that's it. Hey guys, so as you can see, I have this super fashionable eyewear currently, but that is because I am officially done with my LASIK procedure. And I had a super great doctor, I had a super great nurse. As you can see here from the pictures, they were super great and they took pictures with me, they gave me hugs and everything, and it was just a fantastic experience. And I'll see you guys very soon. So guys, as you can see, I am officially out of surgery. It is 12.40. I got out of surgery at around 1220 it was a fairly super easy procedure i did take a volume prior they waited like around 20 minutes and then i was off to surgery the most uncomfortable feeling is probably like the pressure that you feel when they're prior to doing the laser because it's a two-step procedure it's really bright outside right now and i have my eyes closed hey guys so it's just about 8 30 i actually slept through the majority of the day and I honestly recommend anybody that's gonna have this procedure just to sleep it out so the last clip that you guys actually just saw I was really getting out of it like literally but I was actually like getting out of the anesthetic eye drops that they had administered during the LASIK so I was feeling 
so much pressure on the top of my head, in the back of my head, on the temples. I was feeling actual like pressure on my eyeballs. So I just closed my eyes and slept through the entire card ride. And then when I got here to the house, I just knocked out in bed. I currently have my eyes closed, but if I open them, which I actually have them open now, what I feel is like little scratchiness but like the pressure is a little bit gone and i just feel like a mild headache so they administered two eye drops for me one of them is a antibiotic and another one is an anti-inflammatory so i'm going to take these super fashionable glasses off i'm great i look like a bug and still one drop in the operated eye four times daily so i'm just going to do one drop today and then tomorrow is when i actually start the four times per day So I'm supposed to wait around five minutes or so and then use the second pair of drops. Don't mind um, my mask at the moment. Um, I'm supposed to shake this really well before applying it. And then this is gonna be the same thing. One drop in each eye that's operated four times a day. So it was actually optional to do this on the first night because some people just become so extremely sensitive and they can't even open their eyes after doing their laser procedure. But I felt that after the six hours which I had finished the operation, as you can evidently see, I'm feeling pretty good about my eyesight, not 100%. So I do have to sleep with these on the first night. Looking like a I can remove these tomorrow morning prior to going to my checkup. All right, trying to do this outro looking as cute as can be because <laughs> these are not doing any favors for me. But I think, guys, that is all for tonight. I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow morning prior to going to my uh, post-op checkup. Hey, okay, guys, so it is officially the next morning. It is November 13th. And yesterday, they gave me a set of instructions which says that I was supposed to keep these eye shields up to 24 hours after surgery, which I successfully did. I slept in them. And then it says the next morning, the shield should be removed when you wake up. So I actually just showered, got myself a little bit ready and let's remove these bad boys now. Jesus Christ, that hurts. It feels so good to have these removed. You have no idea. So now that the eye shields are completely removed, I'm gonna wash my face really quickly and then put on my medicated eye drops. Okay, let's go in with drops number one. You don't have to shake these, but I like to give them a little shake just in case. Okay guys, so I changed positions. I got ready for my appointment because that's where I'm heading now. I'm heading for my one day post-op appointment. They're just gonna check how everything went yesterday, how my eyes are looking today, and yeah, super excited. Five minutes have passed and I'm gonna apply my second set of drops. These make my eyes really milky and cloudy because the consistency is really milky and cloudy. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it. I'll keep you posted on how today's appointment went. Yeah, that with your artificial tears will go away. Okay. So that's gonna go away, but give it like a few weeks to go away. But so just give me a second. I'm gonna get Iliana, and then Dr. Chalk is gonna come. Thank you so much. Hey guys, so I'm jumping on here really quickly because I just wanted to let you know that the doctor officially checked my eyesight, and I have super perfect vision. Actually, more than perfect because I have 2015 which is actually better than 2020, so I am beyond ecstatic. Hi guys, I'm back with a new look, feeling better than ever and having the most perfect eyesight there could be. So it is November 30th, it's actually the last day of November. It's so sad. Thanksgiving is over, now it's time for Christmas and the New Year's. Where has this year gone? As you guys can see, I look like a totally different person because I actually got my hair done today. I don't know why I just spoke like that, but I just got my hair done today. 
Um, I touched up my roots, got a little trim, got some new fresh highlights, so I'm looking like a new bed. So guys, it has been a little bit now, over two weeks since I got my eyes operated. I have perfect vision. Actually, I have more than perfect vision because I have 2015, or do you say it 1520? No, you say 2015, or do you say 1520? You got my whole shabam. It has been such a wonderful experience to get, you know, my LASIK eye surgery. Just the comfort of not having to wear anything on my eyes, whether it be my regular glasses or contact lenses. It's so crazy because ever since, you know, I turned 8 or 10, it's when I started to wear glasses. And till this day, well obviously, you know, till this day because I'm still not used to it, I'm still like, where are my glasses? And then the people around me are like, you don't wear glasses anymore. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> so I and all, this has been such an amazing experience. And the only complaint that I do have, which I don't know if it's because of my eyesight or if it's another factor, but I've just been getting a lot of recurring headaches ever since I got, you know, LASIK eye surgery. I haven't consulted my surgeon about it, but hopefully it goes away. Maybe it's just because I have my period. TMI. Okay. So you guys, I still have my glasses. They're actually, they're actually right here. Oh my god, these have like little dust particles now on them, which is so like weird. Oh my god. You know how many videos I've filmed? Oh god, that's... I can't see Jack. So... You guys have no idea how many videos I filmed with my glasses up here pretending I could see the lens and pretending I could see everything that was going on. I could not see anything going on in the film. I couldn't see anything going on in the lens. I couldn't see anything. Like, it was so bad. But I would still wear these like on the top of my head because, you know, I like them. The only other thing that's going on. So for that I actually have to zoom you in. For that I have to zoom you in and I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but I have I have a red dot like right there. So that red dot that I have there, I actually had one right here on the bottom as well. This one went away. This one has not gone away. So it's a little bit weird still looking in the mirror and seeing that it looks like I got punched in the eye. And But I technically did get punched in the eye a whole bunch of times. But I was punched by a laser. Um, so yeah. So you guys, I think that's pretty much it, Spirit Thinkers, because we're having the best life right now. I don't think I have anything else to say. I'm really liking this hair. So you guys, I don't think I have anything else to say other than thank you so much for watching this video and watching my LASIK eye journey with me. Leave your comments down below. Leave those likes because they mean a lot to me. And do not forget to subscribe. And most importantly, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.